we said in the introduction that standard costs are like target costs or how much should it cost us to make a product. So always think of that it should cost um, that amount, the standard cost amount. So how do we set these standards? So if the company has been operating for a number of years, then one way to set the standards is to look at past information. So if we take the historical information um, and we look at our, if, if the operations were running efficiently and smoothly, we can take past information and use that to set our standards. So we can make small adjustments for things that we want to improve. Uh, but remember, it's, it's like a target cost. So if we might want to aim for a slightly lower cost or improve the quality slightly, so we can use past information and then tweak that a little bit to get to a new target cost or standard cost. Um, and we can also use regression analysis then to take a series of observations in the past and to, to estimate then what is a good target cost to aim for. And it's important that these targets are uh, realistic. So it, I'd like to say it's like it has to be tough but attainable. So it has, it, there's the, another purpose of the standards or target costs is to help motivate um, the staff to help save costs. So um, it's some, something for them to aim towards. So setting standards could either be using historical information, but then what about a company that don't have a series of past, info, uh, uh, past information or if the past information um, has a lot of inefficiencies in it and we uh, don't want to carry over the inefficiencies to the future target costs or standard costs. So then we can use what is called engineering studies. And that might consist of motion studies and time studies. So engineers might be um, employed or contracted to come and look at our process and then they uh, do some tests and they calculate what it should cost us to make a product. So if it's, for instance, a car that we want to make on a production line, they could come in and then optimize the flow of, of the process. So they could change around the machines to make sure that we spend as little as time as possible without affecting the quality. And then also the, the product itself, they could say um, how much we should use for each type of, of component or material and then calculate a standard cost for each of the products. So obviously engineering studies would be more expensive than historic, using historical information, um, but it might be necessary if the st historical information is not reliable. So that's how we state the standards and then we get to something what is called a standard cost card. So a standard cost card is simply a, a, a card that or a document that shows what it should cost for one product. So it's the should cost for one unit and we might have uh, a line item material and we will have say the amount of kilograms so say it's four kilograms at 20 per kilogram so that equates to 80 and then we might have labor on it so say we uh, use 20 hours of a specific type of labor at 100 per hour so that equates to 2000 and then we might have overheads, so variable and fixed overheads. So I'm just going to say fixed overheads um, of 20,000. And our normal capacity is 1,000 units, so that equates to 20 per unit. And the, the standard cost card will then show the total cost. So we've got 80 plus 2,000 plus 20, so that's... 2100 and that would be the standard cost per unit so we can then everyone in the company will then know in the production department will know we are only allowed to use four kilograms of a specific type material it should cost us 20 per kilogram so 80 in total for a unit labor is we are supposed to or should spend 20 hours of labor per unit and at 100 per hour so in total 2,000, and then overage would be allocated um, on some basis. So say this was machine, uh, uh, yeah, say this was, in this case it was per unit. So 
uh, but we know 20 per unit will be allocated to each product. So this standard cost card um, would be what we use in order to compare what actually happens and this is what we need to aim for. This is the target cost that we aim for um, in the production department. And this is also what we use for budgeting. So if we are going to produce 10 units um, in a month, we will multiply that 10 units times the standard cost card amount and that would be our total budgeted production cost for that month.